Welcome. In front of me is a MyPhone Serie 2 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can see the device in front of me is already locked and uh, can either use the pattern or the the account to unlock it. So there we go, verify your account. So to get started with the bypass, one to number one, connect to Wi-Fi and also change a language. So change the language to any kind of language that has a different keyboard that you can switch, uh, for instance it's Greek, uh, probably Russian. So once you change it, uh, we can start, skip this, go back from here to Wi-Fi, just add another Wi-Fi and then tap on the plus so you can get a pop-up. Uh, from here you want to hold the spacebar, it gives you the language options. So number one, change to QWERTY, which is the second one. There we go. And hold it once more. And now choose the last option. Just put a button right here. And then tap on the bottom. There we go. And choose one of the options that has an arrow right there. Right? Should be good enough. Tap on three dots and want to go to help and feedback, which is the second option. And in the search field for help and feedback, you want to type in Morse code or MO. Use Morse code, there we go. Oh, there we go, finally found it. Okay, so once you see the video, you want to tap on it to start loading it. And then you'll have the three dots up here in the corner. So you can tap on it and one of the options is now watch later, which is the clock. So you want to tap on the clock right there. And it will launch Chrome. So from here, tap on the bottom to accept and we don't want to log in. And then tap on the search bar up on the top and navigate to hardreset.info. Okay, and once it loads, you want to tap on the bars up here to gain access to the menu and choose download. You can scroll a little bit down, and in a download field, you want to search for Android 8. So, Android 8, there we go, and search. And you'll see the bypass FRP. And then below you'll have a download button, so click on that and again scroll down and you'll find download right, right here. So simply tap on it. Now Google will try to block it, so click over here and then allow to access storage, which anything that you want to allow and permit is located on the right side. Anything on the left side is basically a denial, so cancel, uh, deny, stuff like that. Okay, so it looks like either it's not downloading or... Okay, so if you, if you have the same problem that it never finishes downloading, it's stuck at 100%, just cancel that. Uh, I, I don't know how to fix that that part. Um, try it again. I think it's gonna start downloading again or not. Okay, so it didn't. Okay, so if you have the same problem that it never pops up, that it has finished downloading and you have the like open button and blue text, you want to hold the download button like so and choose the second option right here. It opens up uh, the link in a incognito and for some reason then it downloads it no problem. So here, tap on OK and tap on open. That was the link. Uh, so again, on the right side, affirm. You want to enable so Google can install, go back and install. All the options that I'm pressing are primarily located on the right side as everything that I'm trying to do is, well, kind of confirm everything and allow. So once it's done installing, you want to open it, which again is the option on the right side. 
and it opens up the FRP bypass app. Now from here you want to start off by tapping on the Google account manager APK install and choose for version 6.0 and again same process we need to allow switch that on go back and install this time around we don't actually open it we just click on done just a second actually like a denial uh, you can also click on back um, so we should be back in the FRP bypass app. And now what you want to do is tap on bypass FRP right here. Select browser sign in, tap on three dots up here and choose browser sign in, which is the only option that comes up. There we go. And tap on okay. And you should have the Google page with login. So you can log in with any kind of Google account as long as you have one. If you don't have a Google account, you can create one on your computer uh, or a different device and then use it to log in over here. Now I already have one, so I'm going to use it. Okay, let's go on and now let's put in the password. So I'm going to do that off the screen. And again, tap on the button to proceed. It will start logging in and then it will go back to the FRP app. So from here, hold power key and select restart, which is the circular arrow. Confirm it by tapping on OK and wait for the device to boot back up. Okay, so let's go back and change the language back to English. Okay, and let's start. Skip this. Stuff on don't copy. And you will now see account added. So that's the account that I have provided before I restarted the device. And it basically recognizes that account as the previous one and automatically pass let allows you to pass through it. So let's tap on next. Now, once we get access to the home screen, we then want to go into settings and perform another reset of the device, which will remove the account, this one and the previous one altogether, and the device will be fully unlocked at that point. So we're going to just primarily skip through most of this. Okay, so once you see the home screen, let's go into the settings. Scroll down to system, advanced, reset options and erase all data factor reset and as you can see um, performing this will uh, remove your google account and here's the provided account that it will remove but there's also another account that it removes the previous one which was blocking us that it doesn't actually show here so let's just tap on set erase everything and the process will now begin so once it's finished we should be done back in the setup screen at which point we can then set up our device as however we like And as you can see, now the process is finished, so we can set up our device. Now, again, I'm gonna skip through most of this. Uh, and key thing that you will be able to see is number one, Wi-Fi. If I needed to verify the account, I would, wouldn't be able to skip this. So, there we go. That's the first sign that it's already unlocked. So let's tap on next. Skip this.
and there we go so we're now on the home screen and the device is fully unlocked so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching